And it just stands for endurance. It stands for staying down. It stands for, like, not quitting, accepting the ups and downs of whatever game you commit yourself to and riding it out, you feel me? Because, you know, that's the reality of, uh, you know, success or greatness that it come with a roller coaster ride, you know? So I think that anybody could apply the marathon concept to what they do, if it's sports, if it's fashion, if it's music, um, if it's hustling, whatever, you're, just on a mar you're on a marathon, you know? So to make that the basis of our, you know, fashion line, um, I look at it like, you know, we honor the people that ain't quit. We honor the people that stayed down. You know, you influence everybody. Who was your influence? A boxer named Sugar Bear Robinson. My bad, child. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was on mute. Uh, salute, <laughs> salute to the LDBC. Salute to the usual suspects, man. Salute to the entire boxing community. Much love to the chat. Everybody that's going to come through today and show love, man. Um, good morning. I hope everybody's enjoying their morning. Uh, how do y'all feel this morning about Devin Haney versus Connor Bean? Is Connor Bean going to actually be ready for Devin Haney? That's the question that's the hottest topic right now in boxing um kind of being man kind of being got all of the american sharks swarming in on them you know he got the big fish talking shit you got lubin talking shit you got Devin haney on your heels you got tank davis on your heels man um in all actuality man i feel like that's a fight that Devin haney should be able to get easily because they both uh are currently on the zone. Eddie Hearn, Devin Haney, Bill Haney have a good working relationship. Um, Connor Ben is signed to Eddie Hearn, so I think it makes more sense for Devin Haney and Connor Ben to fight. But I do see Tank Davis swarming in trying to get that fight. I don't know if it's a uh, if it's a jealousy thing going on with Connor Ben. I don't know. Uh, 
I mean, not, not kind of being, but I don't know if it's something where Tank Davis is jealous of Devin Haney because he's getting that uh, that attention right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, I honestly don't really know what, 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 what Tank Davis' deal is because I do feel like Tank Davis has a shit ton more options than Devin Haney when you really look at it, when you look at the landscape of PBC from um, 140 to 135 to 147, um, it, it's it's a whole lot of fighters on the PBC side that uh, don't have no dates, they don't have no uh, opponents, you know what I'm saying? And Tank Davis can really pick, um, you know, who he want to fight next from, um, you know, Chris Colbert to Air Rayo to Frank Martin. Um, you even got Dola Santos over there. You got Matias. You got Gary Russell. Um, it's a it's a lot of lot of opponents. You know what I'm saying? That uh, Tank Davis can get in the ring with. Now, why would he want to swoop in and try to take kind of being away from his own and and, and Devin? Um, it make it make it makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? It it makes no sense whatsoever. Um, some people might feel like he's jealous. Um, he's hating on Devin Haney. He's trying to take away, you know, Devin Shine, so on, on and so forth, man. Me myself personally, man, I just feel like uh Connor Ben looked it looked it so sweet that, you know what I'm saying, uh Tank Tank Davis wanna wanna run in his money too, you know what I'm saying? He he, he want to run at that too. You feel me? And and could and could we be mad at at at, at um at Tank Davis for won that fight? I don't know. Um, but this is this is the case right here right now. Um, this is what's going viral on social media. Um, the DMs have been leaked of. Eddie Hearn and Connor Ben, I mean Eddie Hearn and Tank Davis, and this is Tank Davis trying to uh, position himself to get the Connor Ben fight next. Now, uh, now, in recent time, we we seen the other DMs of of Eddie Hearn and Tank, and you know last time around. Eddie uh, was trying to DM Tank about the Devin Haney fight. Tank Davis was was not interested in that in that fight. Um, you know, he told he told Eddie Hearn to fuck off in so many words, right? But in this in this particular case, you know, he was very very receptive, and he was very very uh, keen on trying to position himself for the Conor Ben fight. As you can see, man, he uh he asked Eddie what we doing. You know what I'm saying? So that that tells you right there that he does want he does want this fight, you know what I'm saying? Um, and like, you know, the caption on, on this page, salutes to Happy Punch, another good boxing um Instagram page, man. Um it is rumored that Tank does want to fight in the UK. Um we don't know how true that is. This is just a rumor. Nothing is signed, sealed, and delivered. Um, but man, I'm gonna tell you right here, right now, though. If this fight does take place in the UK, this will be big. This will sell out, um, and this will do good numbers. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, child, um, who who would y'all rather see fight Conor Ben next? Would y'all rather see St. Davis fight Conor Ben next, or would y'all rather see? Devin Haney fight kind of being next up. Uh, me, myself, personally, like I say, I would rather see Devin get that fight simply because uh, it's a little bit more harder for Devin Haney to get the fights. It's a little bit more harder for Devin Haney to get the fights. In my personal opinion, I think Tank Davis um, has a long line of people that he could fight. Um, Devin Haney, not so much because of the... Uh, Back and forth with Ryan Garcia. I don't. I don't know how those negotiations are going. Um, the Matias fight. Uh, Matias haven't tried to make the fight. Um, you know what I'm saying? Tia Fimo already has a fight lined up 
this week coming up. Roley and um, Pitbull Cruz also have a fight coming up. So the other three champions at 140 is occupied um, right now. So I think Devin Haney does need this fight a little bit more than Tank Davis needs this fight. Uh, you know, Tank Davis still got El Rayo over there. He still got uh, Frank Martin. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we shall see how all this shit play out. Um, but this is what this is what uh, this is what Bill Haney had to say about Conor Ben. Let's get it. Your fight, really? Um, it's definitely not on our radar for the next the yeah. next fight. Um, you know the uh, the Ben family. Um, they're legendary in the sport, uh, what his dad has done in the sport. Um, so, you know, like I said, I just have uh, nothing but pleasantries to send out to them. And if the fight is on the table, um, then we'll take a look at it. But right now, that's that's not the fight that's on the table. I, I don't, don't want to, you've been complimentary of Connors. I don't, I don't want to sort of stir things up too much. But in the press conference, he was asked about a fight with Devin. And he sort of suggested that he doesn't have the power and things like that. Uh, I mean, how do you see? How would you see a, a, a Connor against Devin fight playing out? Um, I know, I, you know, uh, all respect to Connor, but I mean, Devin would open up the tattoo shop. You know, we we got a thing that we open up the tattoo shop and we go to tattooing on uh, Mr. Ben. Um, you know what I mean? His face. So, uh, I would like for Connor Ben to get another fight. I don't think that he's ready for Devin right now after that performance um but you know we'll see like i said you know i don't uh i don't want to down him but just after seeing that i don't think that he's he's ready for Devin. right so that, that's what bill haney had to say uh you know kind of being didn't look too good in that fight I'm not gonna lie i thought he was gonna knock this pistol p kid out but uh you know he struggled um, with Pistol Pete, I feel like if Pistol would have landed more, been a little bit more active in the ring with him, you know what I'm saying? Um, he probably could have beat kind of being, you know what I'm saying? Um, and every, everybody sees this, everybody sees kind of being um, struggling with American opponents, and um, no disrespect to, to, to Pistol Pete Dobson, um, you know what I'm saying? He is, uh, you know, a lower level. Fighter, you know what I'm saying? He isn't on the level of a Devin Haney or a Tank Davis. So this is why I think Tank Davis is swarming in trying to get that fight because that 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 would be a a, a spectacular knockout, a victory for uh Tank Davis if he does get that fight. You know what I'm saying? I think Tank Davis, you know what I'm saying, puts my man on a t-shirt. No disrespect to kind of being, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, kind of being man. The sharks are swarming in, dude. The, the sharks are swarming in, man, and they and they want and they want that and they want that meal. You feel me? So um, we shall see what happens, man. Uh, like I say, I, I think Dev uh, is 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 in a way worse position right now because of the landscape at 140. Hopefully, the Ryan Garcia fight does happen for him. And honestly, man, uh, I would love to see Tank Davis fight Frank Martin. I think Tank Davis and Frank Martin makes the most sense right now um, for Tank. You know what I'm saying? I think Frank Martin is like the number one guy in the WBA. I do think he is the mandatory right now for Tank Davis. He's a WBA build at 135. I think Frank Martin deserves that fight. Um, you know what I'm saying? Well, we shall see what happens. You know what I'm saying? With uh, these guys' next opponent. And y'all let me know who y'all want to see these guys fight next. You know what I'm saying? Put it in the chat. Put it in the comment section. Let me know who you want to see these guys fight next, man. And what should Conor Ben do? Should Conor Ben pack it up and go back to the UK? You know what I'm saying? Should he uh, try again in America with uh, one of these top level guys? Or do you want to see Conor Ben get another fight like Bill Haney is alluding to? Um, real quick, real slick, man. Y'all smash my like button, man. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. Um, so Shakur Stevenson has came out and he has done um, an interview with Fight Hype. Salute to Fight Hype, man. Shakur Stevenson is uh, back talking. You know what I'm saying? Um, he had a lot to say um, in regards to his situation. Um, you know what I'm saying? His status right now. 
in the game. And um, he did speak on the Richardson, Richardson situation. Um, he did speak on that briefly. Um, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to get into why he is uh, upset with, with, with Hitchison, man. Let's get it. Let's say Keyshawn knows it was Bud or however I'm rocking to the wheels fall off. And anybody know that about me? I'm rocking. I'm a solid, real nigga. I'm going to make sure. Oh, what up? Yeah, what up? We 10 toes. Oh, you said what about my brother? What up? I'm right there with my brother. Like, that's how it is. Mm-hmm. That's how it is when you like. Niggas know, like, when you come from that type of background, you're supposed to understand and be grounded with your people. And I feel like when I watched that interview, it was just like, damn, my nigga, like, the fuck, bro? You sound like you an op or enemy or, like, damn, bro, like, the shit you saying, you hit me up, boom, 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 have a conversation, boom, we good. That's it. None of us talk about None of us talk about, oh, when you talk to them, no, swerve them niggas. Swerve them niggas, swerve them. We ain't even talking. We ain't fuck out of here. Your brother, yeah, you rocking with your brother. If I'm your brother, talk like I'm your brother, nigga. Don't talk like I'm fucking, your, like, some other nigga or enemy or, like, don't talk like that, bro. You, oh, take Rick and his chops and, like, no, shut the fuck up, bro. Right, now, at that point, nigga, I want you to be right on side of, man, I ain't even about to get into that. Whatever, <laughs> this is, man, niggas is just sick, bro. That's all I got to say. I'm a, I'm a real nigga, bro. But I ain't, I ain't complaining. It, it is what it is. Life good. Um, shit. My daughter just turned. So, uh, that's why the court Stevenson was upset with Hitchison. <sighs> um, I'm gonna be real, man. Um, I like I say, I don't like all this beef shit that these dudes be having. Um. You know, of course, Stevenson felt a certain type of way. Hitchison speaking on him about Tank, you know, licking his chops. And, you know, dudes feel like Shakur Stevenson is sweet. Um, you know what I'm saying? I think the best thing that Shakur Stevenson could do right here, right now, since he does not have a a, a fight that he is interested in as far as, uh, you know, Lomachenko or Navarrete, you can't get those two guys in the ring. You know, Navarrete is going to get the the Dennis um, Berenchik fight. You know, Lomachenko is going to fight Cambosis, man. I think it's only right that Shakur Stevenson does rematch uh, Dola Santos to, to 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 clear that up, man. You know what I'm saying? Clear that up. You feel me? Um, you you didn't look your best that night. You know what I'm saying? You did uh, ease out the win, squeeze out the win. You feel me? Um, and you know, Shakur, man, you gotta, you gotta understand, bro, that sometimes your idols become your rivals. You feel me? You know, I, I know Hitchison's was your man's at one point in time. Y'all both come from the tri-state area. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, Shakur, uh, he did, you know, kind of lead the pack as far as the the new era of boxing when it comes to uh, you know, guys in a in a in a twenties. You know what I'm saying? He was like the first guy uh, out of that whole little bunch to become, you know, champion um, and, you know, kind of kind of do his thing, you feel me? But now, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, you, you, you're kind of separating yourself from the pack. Um, and, you know, Hitchison's is looking at it like, man, you know what I'm saying? You might you might be fooled for tank you might be fooled for them and you might be fooled for these other guys you know what i'm saying and he just spoke on how he felt and shakur took offense to it but uh you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get it back bro whether it's uh you you move up and wait you fight hitchison's you move up and white you fight dale you fight uh you fight motherfucking me dollar santos man you 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 gotta get your league back you know what i'm saying because um these dudes know what it is you feel me they know what it is bro um when, when when you're when you're that good, you know what I'm saying, and you have an off night, you know, uh the sharks are on the sharks are gonna swarm in. Um, same thing like people are doing with Connor Ben. All this relates to one another, man. When you have an off night or you look sweet, you know, these these dudes are gonna try to, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna try to take you down, they're gonna try to make you fools, you feel me? They're gonna try to take what's yours, you feel me? And a lot of people. They want they they want Shakur head, you know what I'm saying? I think I think you know Tank Davis being one of them. I think 
Devin Haney want that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so to show these guys that you that that you really like that and they got you fucked up. You feel me? Get get your lick back with Dolores Santos. You feel me? Get your motherfucking lick back. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, um, you only as good as your as as, as your last fight. You feel me? And that, and that's just what it is. And, and you know. In your last fight, you didn't look like the Shakur Stevenson that we're accustomed to seeing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you 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 looked it vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? And you know Hitchison spoke up on that situation. You feel me? So uh, now you got to get that shit back, man. You can't be mad at Hitchison for living his motherfucking me truth. You know what I'm saying? He spoke on how he felt, and um, you know I'm not mad at Hitchison, man. He said. Well, a lot of people was thinking, but they just ain't really came out and said it for real, for real. So for, for Hitchison to, you know what I'm saying, not hold his tongue or not shy away from, from, from the situation, you know what I'm saying? You got to respect the kid for that. And, you know, Shakur didn't like it, you know what I'm saying? But that's 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 him living his truth, man. Um, like I say, a lot of people don't agree with having a rematch, and I understand that, but... What up? What else is out there for Shakur Stevenson to get right now? It's nothing. You, you're not. You're not fighting Tank Davis. You're not fighting Lomachenko. You're not fighting Navarrete. If you say you want to be undisputed, you know what I'm saying. You, you you're gonna have to. Um, you, you're gonna have to get busy, bro. Stay active. Don't sit around and wait on these dudes. You know what I'm saying. Don't sit around and wait for Lomachenko. Don't sit around and wait for Tank. Don't sit around and wait for Navarrete. I think those fights can happen in due time. But if you go out there this year, let's say in a few more months, man, you go out there and you have a spectacular performance against Dola Santos, man, you knock Dola Santos out, you dominate Dola Santos, man, and the narrative is, is going to change, you know what I'm saying? And I think that that, that builds your profile, that, that, makes you, uh, that, that makes you a little bit more hot out here in these streets, you feel me? Because right now, Shakur, you, you, you cold, you feel me? You didn't win cold, you know what I'm saying? And it's in this time for you to get your motherfucking me leaked back right now. You know what I'm saying? It's February 5th. You need to be trying to rematch Dolo Santos, man. You need to be trying to rematch Dolo Santos. Point blank, period. Uh, don't let nobody else swoop in and get that fight. You get that fight and you running back with Dolo Santos. You feel me? You take Dolo Santos to to to, to Jersey. You know what I'm saying? You put up good numbers in, in the Perdono Center and you do your motherfucking thing in front of your people and in, 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 um, your hometown and your fans. You feel me? I think I think that makes more sense for Shakur Stevenson. You know what I'm saying? Because I think Core is really that good. He just had a bad night and um, you got to get that shit back. You know what I'm saying? The shit happens. You feel me? Um, yeah, man. But it's Marathon Monday, man. It's your boy 503 Line, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Shakur Stevenson finally speaking up about uh, his situation with Richard Hitchison. Um, and like I say, who do y'all want to see Devin Haney fight next, man? Do y'all want to see Devin Haney fight uh, Conor Ben? You know what I'm saying? Or would you rather see him fight somebody else at 140, like a Ryan Garcia or something like that? And um, how y'all feel about Tank Davis trying to get the Conor Ben fight, man? Who should Conor Ben fight next? Should it be Devin? Should it be Tank? You know what I'm saying? Um, until next time, man, it's your boy 503 Lion. Um, we finna get up out of here, though. Uh, Y'all already know, man. Marathon Mondays, man. The marathon continues. RIP to my boy Nip, man. And um, we gone, man. Peace.